In this movie, you will discover more information about the properties of thermal blocks. Let's switch to the Thermal Blocks tab page of the Energy Model Review Palette, and then activate the Tree View Mode option to display the available thermal blocks in the Tree View. We can select one or more thermal blocks in the Tree View. The selected thermal blocks will be instantly displayed in the 3D window. The properties of the selected thermal blocks are displayed below in the list of thermal blocks on the Energy Model Review Palette. Let's open the Thermal Block Properties page below the Tree View panel to display the properties of the selected thermal blocks. The number as well as the name of the selected thermal block can be edited at the top of the Properties page. Predefined operation profiles can also be assigned to the selected thermal blocks with the help of the pop-up list at the top right corner of the Properties page. If more than one thermal block is selected, the number in the name field cannot be edited, but the Operation Profile pop-up list is active. This way, the same Operation Profile can be assigned to multiple thermal blocks in one step. On the Supply Building Systems panel, architects can adjust the heating, cooling, and ventilation system types at only a very basic level. Let's open the Building System Settings dialog now to have a closer look at the details of each system type. Thermal blocks with heating and cooling types not yet specified refer to areas without any mechanical heating or cooling systems. In this case, it's possible to make a preliminary evaluation and define the heating capacity of our building. Heating can be achieved by district or central on-site supplies. After specifying on-site heating and identifying one or more heating equipment types, the internal temperature constraints are activated in the assigned operation profile. Let's select boiler or furnace for the heating type and see how it works. These basic building system settings can be easily entered without any engineering knowledge. Let's return to the Energy Model Review Palette and display the thermal blocks in List View. The List View displays all the relevant properties of the thermal blocks, including their operation profile, area, zones, and the building system type. The Building Systems dialog that represents the system settings of the selected thermal block can be displayed at any time using its button at the right side of the list.